Hey gang, happy Monday. Uh, Bill Sheridan with the Maryland Association of CPAs here with you again. Uh, short week for most of us this week, right? Fourth of July coming up and all. I uh, hope you guys have a great holiday. Uh, if you're traveling, travel safe. Uh, before we get into celebration mode, a little inspiration for you. Uh, we've got another CPA story to share with you this week. Taking a closer look at the the purpose behind the profession, right? And you know, as we've been collecting some of these stories, uh, there's been a lot of talk about how CPAs impact the lives of the people that they work for. Uh, but what about the CPAs themselves? Uh, my guest this week, Bo Fitzpatrick, he's going to speak to that a little bit. Bo's had uh, an interesting career. He's he's seen almost every corner of the profession, right? He's worked in public accounting. He's worked on the private side for both uh, public and private companies. Uh, today, he's working on the people side. Uh, as chief operating officer with Dembo Jones, uh, a firm based in Bethesda, Bo uh, also a member of the MACPA's board of directors, and one of accounting today's uh, 100 most influential people in accounting in 2004. So uh, he says that there are just countless opportunities and advantages, not just for those that CPAs serve, but also at a personal level. Uh, for CPAs themselves that make this profession and this career incredibly rewarding. And, and those opportunities were apparent for Bo uh, even before he joined the profession, right? When he was a student just trying to figure out his way in the world and what he wanted to study, where he wanted to go. Um, so vi video is a little choppy on this one, but the audio sounds just fine, which Really, that's what matters, right? Because Bo's got some great insights to share with us this week. I uh, want to share them with you right now. Uh, here is Bo Fitzpatrick with his CPA story. So I've, I was always, I was, I've, I've always been attracted to the business world. Uh, that's, I felt I was, I, I was, a, I was a business person, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of what I felt. And I was thinking about economics. I, I was really interested in in econ, um, I took econ at Maryland. I, I really enjoyed those classes. Mm -hmm. And I was in college in the early mid eighties and the co country was coming out of probably their worst recession in the late seventies, early eighties when the interest rates were at 18%. Mm. Um, it was, and um, I remember I was in Tidings Hall at the University of Maryland and a guy I knew came walking through and he had a coat and a tie on. I'm like, what are you, do what are you doing with a coat and tie? He's a <laughs> Because I just got back from an interview. I said, with who? He says, with this accounting firm. I go, how'd it go? He goes, they offered me a job. Wow. And I said, really? He goes, yeah, they're going to pay me $18,500. And I said, you're kidding. <laughs> I said, what is this? Is this account, public accounting? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I was trying to figure out what am I going to, when I graduate, what am I going to do? Uh -huh. And then I also started to understand that it really is, you know, the, the, the uh, the typical thing we all say, it's the language of business, right? And and I really felt that. And one of my favorite classes at Maryland was it was called um, accounting seminar, and it's basically uh, talking talking about the profession as a whole. And one of the things we did in there was we did well, what colors your parachute, and where do you see yourself in one years, three years, five years, and ten years? And I remember I wrote that paper and. In my paper, I wrote I would like to be in public accounting uh, for five years and then go into private business. Mm -hmm. um, well, I was in public accounting, but I was back and forth in public accounting throughout my career. So I've always, so that's how, that's what, that's what triggered me to all of a sudden flip from econ to accounting. Mm -hmm. Now in today's world, you can be an econ major, you can be an accounting major, you can be a finance major. I mean, public accounting is, is once all people now, whether, you know, you need different um, uh, credits to sit for the exam, but yep. You know, I, I felt that, you know, getting the CPA is a designation that is valuable and it's recognized. And I, I said, you know, I want to get that and I'll have that for the rest of my life. It's something I can always have. What about for uh, your clients? What what What's the purpose of your work for them? Um, what do you accomplish for them or for you know, the, the, the greater community by, by what you do? Well, there's the, you know, there's the, the, the standard, you know, we, we, we you know, we, we're a fiduciary, you know, or, or to the public, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we sign, we, we have a firm signs an audit opinion. The public should believe that what is in there is materially correct. 
and and that's that's the case. Helping people with their tax returns, um, you know, getting that the compliance piece done. Uh, but really, that's and that's that's kind of the compliance aspect. But the real value comes in is that you really do get to know the client. You really get to understand their business or their personal situation, mm-hmm. and you get to the point where they, you know. Again, for lack of a you know standard word, you become their trusted advisor. Mm-hmm. You really do, and they turn to you, and you know they'll, they'll come and say, hey, "Can can you know can you be a trustee for my estate?" And you know, so all these all, all these things that because they 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 learn that you're smart and they can trust you, and and that that's what that's what they really like. So that's where the real power comes in. That's the real value. Um, that I see that's the enjoyable, that's a more enjoyable part sometimes because you are actually getting into these issues and questions that the company or the individual has that you can help them solve. That's fantastic. And, and uh, for for you uh, personally, Bo, what, what's most gratifying about the work you do? What, in, what inspires you uh, about, about being a, a CPA? Well, where I am now, it's it's the people I work with. Mm-hmm. It's in my in my role, I'm dealing with uh, uh, the people, the personalities, the challenges, um, everything that everything that happens in an office is yeah. as I'm involved with. And when I and previously when I was at, at the other firm, that's what you're doing all day long is dealing with people. And then if, if they have if they have challenges with their clients, you you help them with their clients and go to meetings with them or help work through or, or, or uh, answer some of the questions that are popping up for a variety of things. Yeah. But that's in, that's in my current role, right? So, you know, 15, 20 years ago when I was in public accounting doing the, doing the thing, it was, it was actually being on the audit team as the manager, the senior manager, and taking the team out to the client and being at the client for a month in their conference room and just working your butts off, but having fun while you're doing it. Because you're all young and, and energy, and 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 you just get it done. Yeah. And and the client loves you, but they want you to get out as fast as you can. <laughs> you know. And uh, so it was all it was all that that was good. So there's again different different tranches in my in my career. Sure, sure. Um, uh, so let's say I'm a I'm a a, a young person, a student. Um, trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. What do I want to study? What career I might want um, going forward? What would you, what would you tell me about accounting? Hmm. What would I tell you about accounting? I would say that you will never be bored. Right. Which is, you know, there's many, many jobs out there where you get, you get bored. Mm-hmm. Uh, in public accounting, every day is different. You have cl- new clients all the time. Uh, you can, as you go up through the ranks, you can learn earn a very good living. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is is financially how rewarding it can be to the person individually, mm-hmm. which is important to everybody, right? Sure. It, it just that's just a fact. Uh, I remember one time we hired three new people and um, I took them outside and said, just, just curious. I asked them some other stuff. It's just curious. How much money do you think partners make? And they were off by three times. <laughs> okay. And then when I told them what we were making on average, they were like, what? <laughs> oh, the first question I said, how long do you think you'll stay in public accounting? And they said, I don't know, maybe till I make senior. Then I'll go do something else because that's kind of the vibe, right? Uh-huh. I said, "Well, how much money do you think partners make?" And they told me, and I and I said, "Well, multiply that by three. Uh-huh. And they're like, huh, "I might stay my whole career if I can make that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's it's something that's that it's important to everybody, and and it's we shouldn't be shy about talking about it, right? You know, right. just like anybody that makes good money, they work for it. It's not easy, but I don't, it doesn't matter what you do. If you're making good money, you're working for it, unless you hit the lottery, right? Um, so, yep. but yeah, I think, I think that's, I think it's, every day is different. You work and meet amazing people and financially it can be extremely rewarding and you can live and, and, and live the type of life that you envision. Great stuff there from Bo Fitzpatrick. So glad he could take the time out of his busy schedule to join us 
this week and be with us here this morning. Uh, we want to hear from you guys as well. So head on over to macpa.org slash why and share your story with us as we try to offer a little bit of inspiration for the next generation of accounting and finance professionals. We want to hear what your CPA purpose is too. Hope you'll be able to take some time soon and, and share that with us. Uh, as always, thanks for being here. Have a great 4th of July. We'll be back next week. More stories to share. Until then, have a great week. Take care.